Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Mehdi. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at my most favorite five 2022 release fragrances. Without any further ado, from House of Givenchy, Gentleman Reserve Preview Smells, dressed up luxury and very modern. I said several times that this is a redundant fragrance in my collection because I already own Diorome, Diorome Intense, Valentino Omo Intense, Givenchy Gentleman EDP and somehow Prada Loam Intense. DNA is in that genre and very close to other fragrances that I already have in my collection. So if you haven't those fragrances that I already counted, wouldn't be a redundant release for you, but for me, stays a little bit redundant because I already have a lots of fragrances in this DNA and genre, but gets the job done to be honest. Performance is great, complimenting factor as well, and I can get very great reactions from ladies. At number four, from House of George Armani, Armani Coat, Parfum. To be honest, I can get better reactions, compliments, and performance out of another 2022 released fragrance from House of Paco Rabanne, 1 million elixir. Especially from ladies, gets great compliments. But that is not what I can call it most favorite fragrance. I like it, but most favorite fragrance is here. That's why I didn't include that fragrance in today's video. Oh my goodness, such a sexy, luxury, polite, and dressed up manly type of fragrance. If you like the regular code, this is like smoother, tiny, fruitier, or more citrusy version of that fragrance. Very great choice for indoor and office situations, but office is too sexy for office. Maybe smells too dressed up, let's say, for office, and it's better for night times. At number three, it's a pretty new fragrance in my collection, but already it is one of my most favorites of 2022. Arm of Club de Nuit, Urban Man Elixir. Yeah, it is like fresher, more polished version of Arm of Hunter Intense. I really enjoy this DNA, it is mass appealing, it is strong, complimenting and cheap. Covers a lots of important factors, performance, price, scent profile. And I like that added advantage vibe at the top of this fragrance. Prices are a little bit right now higher than before because of hype around, let's say, and it's already sold out everywhere, guys. At number two from House of Mansara, Tanka, Kola. If you're not into dirty, complex niche fragrances, you might enjoy this one. It is not a safe blind by worthy fragrance, but definitely in the safer side and one of those wearable Mansara fragrances. Still, I'm trying to find out to get that cola note. Like the coffee note in the Intense Coffee by Montal. Just I haven't succeeded yet. It smells rich and concentrated. It is sweet, like spicy sweet, cinnamony sweet. Atmosphere fragrance is cozy. At the same time, it is fresh and somehow soapy, like those very, very soapy fragrances. At the background, not a soapy fragrance, but gives that vibe. Performance is great, not loud that much in terms of projection. Close to good, let's say, to the projection, but not a beast mode fragrance. Definitely one of those strong monster fragrances. Yes, at number one, my compliment monster Invictus Platinum by Pacaraban. Can't wait to try it in the spring and summer. I believe gonna shine better at this spring because it is maybe too sweet for summer. It smells sweet, tiny aquatic, definitely has that Invictus DNA, but more of Invictus Legend, like that one Oceanic, not as salty. I can get tiny of fruity vibe and a bit at the top it is green, not like barbershop or old school green, very modern green and gets earthier at the dry down. Performance, projection, sillage, compliments, all 10 out of 10. Take care, guys.